sleeping the whole time. I stopped at this little rest stop, which is of course a place for people to buy stuff. Um, they always want to support their communities, and I think they get a kickback as well. It's not a big deal. Uh, we've seen it in Bali and other places. Um, but they have some really cool stuff. They've got a lot of handmade stuff. They have pictures, as you can see on the wall. Um, and these aren't paintings. Um, most of these are actually um, stitched, uh, which is really cool. And then they also have a lot of uh, Vietnamese gemstones, rubies, turquoise, stuff like that. So, I'm gonna take a look at it. I didn't know this, but Vietnam is actually, uh, it says right here, Vietnam is the second largest exporter of coffee in the world. One of our favorite is the G7. We would get this in Korea, and it is very, very good instant coffee. waiting with all of our stuff for our traditional junk so we can start on our tour. I tried to be smart and when we got on this boat I changed my shirt out for this one because it was dry and after that little boat trip, we, it's already soaked again. Right now we're in Halong Bay, which is a world UNESCO site. We are on a private cruise. Yep, we are on a traditional junk boat. Um, which junk sounds really bad, but that's just the name of it. It's actually a pretty nice uh, vessel here. It's very sound. islands in Ha Long Bay. In Vietnam total, there's about 3,000. So there are tons and tons of islands just like in one little spot. And it's just amazingly beautiful. But I will do a little bit of a 360 so you can see. There are little islands all around. And this is just the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. So on this tour, you could have either done kayaking or banana boat. Um, kayaking is a little bit less secure as far as electronics goes, a lot more chance to get wet. So we're gonna go with the banana boat so we can get more pictures and video. This is the problem with Asian life jackets for me. That man in a little coat. I swear our guide is taunting us. She keeps rocking the boat like she's gonna tip it. <laughs> and laughing. And laughing <laughs> and counting. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> Go into the cave of wonders. I was about to say that. Go into the cave of the unknown. Hopefully we'll come back. What accent is that? <laughs> <laughs> Our stairs are starting to break. Oh, 
So I think we're at our next destination, which is called Kissing Rock, and you can see it right here. Looks like the rocks want to kiss each other like their boyfriend and girlfriend. I like the original when they were fighting roosters. I can see that too. Just in the middle of nowhere, so it's gorgeous, and it's just a beautiful backdrop all around it. If you're ever going to just get uh, motion sickness pills, make sure you triple check that they're not they're non-drowsy. So I went to a pharmacy yesterday and I thought I was really smart and getting ahead because I know I get sick seasick on boats before. So I went to a pharmacy and picked up some pills and we even stated non-drowsy but she shook her head. Needless to say, I uh, felt like I was literally like roofied, was like stumbling around, um, was delirious for several hours. Yeah, we were waiting at the opera house to get picked up and Amanda was just passing out right there. Yeah, so definitely be sure, and it's a lesson learned, that um, if you get the motion sickness pills, make sure you know the full extent of what they can do. You know, uh, the most interesting thing inside the cave is what? Is so far the cave is very famous for its unique system of stalactite and stalagmite. And so far, stalactite, stalagmite, and the cave inside, right? They are being formed now. We just learned that this cave is called Paradise Cave. It, this is the only, the really special cave because it's the only one that you can drink out of. It has really fast taste moving water. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look and see. And Eric's gonna drink the whole cave he said to he's dying to this. This cave is totally epic. Eric had reservations and he thought this cave was gonna be ghetto, but so wrong. This cave is amazing. crunch so we're just kind of talking that we don't know how to get to our Airbnb we did our research um, a while ago and then we discovered our Airbnb is two hours away from Halong Bay to Haiphong so we're just kind of figuring out um, how we're gonna get there just wrapping up our cave tour and heading back onto the boat we're really looking forward to some beverages and some seasonal fruit and then from there on we're just gonna have to try to rough it and make it to our Airbnb in time this particular place I'm super excited about because we have the whole place it's not shared so I cannot wait to get a shower. Amanda and I are at a small little bus station that is in Halong. Um, we are trying to take it to Haiphong and all the buses are these tiny little things that look pretty sketchy. The last bus was not very comfortable for me, but I think that might be luxury compared to what we're gonna get for this next hour to two hours. Super fun, make sure it told a price and it's written on a board that you take a picture of it because now our driver's trying to extort us out of an extra $150,000, um, which is double the price. He's gonna make us get into our bags underneath um, the bus to get the ex at least an extra 50. I think we're settling on a price of an extra 50,000. But it's still extremely upsetting. Just a good point to not have all your money in one place because if I would have had all 300,000 in one spot, then he would have taken it all right there because he's pretty much threatening to kick us off. He waited until we got into the middle of our trek in the middle of nowhere, um, still another 20 kilometers out or whatnot before he did it. Quick little recap we got off the bus, we only had to pay about an extra 50,000 uh, dong. Um, which is only like two bucks, but still it is the principal. We end up getting off the bus and we try to catch a taxi. We didn't have to go a long distance. Um, we walked here in 20 minutes, 
but the taxi drivers wanted a hundred thousand dong definitely not worth that amount uh, we took a taxi earlier today a hundred thousand dong took us about five miles or so this was only going to be like half a mile um, so we ended up walking here we got to the place on the inside or on the front it looks pretty nice it was recently renovated nice little airbnb problem is it's not so there was a review that said that the air conditioning didn't work amanda messaged them and asked hey did the air conditioning get fixed they said yes we get in we try to turn it on it turns on i try to set it to 18 degrees celsius lowest it can go it's been an hour hour and a half and as you can see it is not cooling down the air conditioning is still broke i mean this place is horrible the bathroom now the, we're in asia so we know what asian bathrooms are like but this is straight up there's no ceiling ceilings falling ceilings falling off onto the ground the water actually smells super super horrible it made my skin itch when we took a shower um, and we took a shower on on pretty cool water because we were pretty hot so it's not like we're sweating because we just took a shower this is an hour and a half later this is ridiculous amanda called airbnb and they are going to hook us up with a hotel because part of this airbnb's deal is it has air conditioning false the air conditioning does not work so we are trying to get the keys back to the person that came over here and met us and then we're going to go to a hotel because Airbnb is hooking us up. Look at my face, this is ridiculous. I am sweating so bad. This place is a death trap. So we will show you what our new accommodations look like when we get there. We've just checked in to this hotel. Um, it's called the Hui Night or something like that hotel. Um, Airbnb definitely hooked us up. We have a Western style bathroom. Um, we've got a tub, which is cool. It's yeah. not the greatest of tubs, but hey, I'll take it. The bed looks amazing. Well guys, that's probably gonna do it. See you around the world. Time for dinner.